Hello and welcome to another edition of Trotsky Robust. Uh, it's, I think, the last day of uh, November uh, 2018. Uh, what I, want, I haven't been on for a while, so I want to talk about uh, the most important thing, of course, this week was the GM layoffs. What a fucking surprise. What a surprise. Uh, if you remember, not long ago, we bailed out GM and Chrysler and the big banks. And in return, what did we get? We got layoffs uh, from GM this week. We uh, not, They're not laying off their plants in Mexico or China, just here. They're also, what's going on now is, uh, and of course the banks, uh, 7 million people lost their homes because of the ba bank bailout. And um, there's only one solution to this, and that would be to nationalize it. GM needs to be nationalized. That's the solution here. Um, what are the chances of that happening? The chances are zero, okay? Uh, the politicians are themselves corrupt. They are part of the problem. That uh, blowhard, uh, Sherrod Brown of Ohio, um, does he talk about nationalism? No, he's blaming Trump, and Trump's blaming him, and that's it. That's what. That's how they distract us by, oh, it's the Republicans' fault, oh, it's the Democrats' fault. No, it's the same party. They're the same fucking party, and they're the corporate party, and they work against us. And um, now, um, it, what is the purpose? Uh, why would nationalism, nationalizing it be good? Or at least someone should mention it. Bernie should mention it. You know, maybe that'll scare them. Um, nah, it won't. It won't scare them. It won't do jack shit. They know they own the government, and they're not scared of anybody. Um, <clears throat> Of course, they'll say, oh, that's socialism, that's socialism, and socialism is evil in every way. Well, we already have socialism. It's socialism for the billionaires, ruthless capitalism for everybody else. That's exactly what it is. They get bailed out. If they get in trouble, they get bailed out, right? It would have been so much better. The banks, why did we bail them out? Why did we just nationalize them? That's very common. In Europe, they all have they have a lot of national banks. Then you don't have to worry about them doing the wrong thing. If we could own the banks, then maybe the banks would do the right thing, that give small business loans, that focus on the community. Instead, our banks go and speculate on Wall Street. Because why wouldn't they? I mean, if they win, they win. If they lose, we bail them up. <laughs> uh, it's not a damn thing that can be done about this. Um, Understand some, one thing very important. It's in 2008 when the economy went to shits. It was socialism that bailed us out. All right. Now it doesn't look like much of a bailout, but it wasn't much of socialism. Like I said, it was only socialism for the very rich. A little bit of it for the poor, but not much. Um, uh, what it did was it government intervention prevented it from the Great Recession from becoming the Great Depression. We were nowhere near a Great Depression. Uh, Great Depression, during the, giving one example of Great Depression, during the Great Depression, some cities were opening up their zoos, killing the animals and giving the meat to poor people. We didn't reach that. And, you know, part of it is because of Keynesian economics, where the, when no one spends, the government spends. But if the government spends, and if capitalism failed, right, it did fail, then why not just buy the banks instead of bailing them out? Why not just buy GM? Why not just buy Chrysler? Who today would tell me, you know, and all the bullshit, and people naturally tell you that socialism is evil because they're programmed to. The media is owned by multi-billion dollar companies. Therefore, they're always going to tell you socialism is bad. But how can anybody say this week when watching GM lay off all those people that the socialist uh, solution, which would have been nationalizing GM would have been worse. No one can. No one can. Where's Bernie? Why isn't he screaming at the top of his lungs this week about this? I don't know if he said anything. If he did, it's not, I'm sure he didn't talk about nationalizing. No one's talking about that. Sure, certainly Trump's not doing it. He just said, hey, the people weren't buying their car. Oh, well, tough luck. They made a profit. I think they made $6 billion last year. You know, it's not tough luck to the shareholders, it's tough luck to the workers. You know, why didn't the worker, why don't we give a shit about them? Why do we only give a shit about billionaires? Nobody questions that. Nobody questions. And there's not one voice. The only voices are, uh, I guess, this stupid uh, channel, whatever. Uh, 
all the media is owned by them. Even the when you watch um, progressive channels on YouTube, others they're still they're still giving the all of the above. Oh yeah, we're for a third party, but if the Democrats fix themselves, we'll be for that. Democrats are never going to fix themselves. They're always going to dangle. Alexander Ocasio Cortez. She just buckled. She she's now supporting Nancy Pelosi. What a surprise! What a fucking surprise! And so there's there's no solution, okay? And all the people few uh, are now pretending that or the, all of the above solution. Maybe we'll get somebody else, some other type of uh, leftist. We're not. It's never. You you have to be committed to one thing and one thing only. All right, and no one this week can tell you that socialism is a bad thing, and no one's saying it. And that tells that's that's the most telling thing of all. That's why everything's so fucked up, all right? And it's going to get a lot worse. Uh, the economy, if this was a good economy the last ten years, I guess it's called a good economy. It's going to run out, all right? There's reason why they're doing all these tax cuts, even though there's weighted for the rich, it's still tax cuts. It's going to help a little bit. Now gas prices are going down. That's going to help a little bit. But it can't last forever. Maybe they're trying to get Trump a second term. This shit about Cohen, you know, trust me, this is not going to have any effect. And you're hearing people say that Trump's not going to last the end of his term. Yeah, he will. He will. All right? He will. And if he's replaced, so what? Who's going to replace him? Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Sherrod Brown? Oh, yeah, that's a good, uh, wow. All right, um, that's about it. That's all I have to say today. I'm just so pissed off. Uh, nothing's new about that. Uh, what I did, um, when I, what else I want to talk about, and I'll talk about it another time. Um, it just uh, please give me a thumbs up, thumbs, thumbs down, give me comments, and share this video. You know, this is a solution. This is the socialist solution. Nationalized GM. All right, share that, or at least tell your friends or whoever. Please tell them that. That's the only solution. That's how we would have saved those jobs. There's no other way, okay? And it's it's not going to be with, uh, the, you know, it's not going to be with Trump or Sherrod Brown or um, Cory Booker or anybody like that. Um, <clears throat> it's it's going to have to be a revolution of some sort. All right, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And that's it. Have a happy weekend. Trotsky out.